Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. We just went by the first GameStop, and apparently they got even cheaper bags now. But anyway, we got one bag from the GameStop dumpster, and let's see what we got. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster driving videos every single day. And leave this video a big fat thumbs up, and let's get into it. This bag definitely has some weight to it, so there's got to be more than this trash I see on top. And I think I see an Xbox case. I do. And there's a game in it. What is that? Disney Infinity for the 360. Let's see. Is it ringed? Ah, oh, it's got a ring on it. Two rings, actually. No way that's going to work, unfortunately. I'll keep it and try it on my 360. There's the sleeve that was with it. Might as well put it there so I know what it is. Oh, Nintendo Switch thing that goes to the end of a lanyard. I'm going to keep this in case I find Nintendo Switch lanyards. I can put that in the end and have the complete thing. Oops. Trash tried to escape without too fast. Ooh. What is that? An iPad Air box. Oh my god, that was in there. Of course not. That would be incredible. What was not that? Nothing. Probably not going to keep the... Uh, Maybe, I don't know yet. We'll decide in a bit. Let's see what else we got. Oh, ooh, that, that's an, oh my god, that's got weight to it. This is an Apple Watch box. Ah, uh, why do Apple make all their boxes and cases so heavy? Like every time I pick up an Apple something, I'm like, oh my gosh, and it's just freaking empty. Anyway, that looks like it's it, but again, I'll keep these two boxes probably because People that have these things singularly without the box would like to buy the boxes cheap so they can sell as a whole complete set. They make more money like that, so still some good finds and hopefully that game works. And anyway, I will see you at the next one. Guys, we're at the next dumpster and I'm freaking out right now. Look, this is an Xbox One kiosk. It's taken apart, obviously, but it doesn't look like it's broken. So I'm gonna try to load these pieces into the car. Oh, I can't talk. I'm gonna try to load these pieces into the car and then I'll see what I have and if it's broken or not. These wires might look cut but they can easily be reattached. So I will let you guys know at the end if we got this thing together. I'm freaking out. Hold on, let me see what's in this box too. See, there's even like other stuff in this box. Look at this. Skylanders, a GoPro attachment. What else we got in here? There's the Xbox One down there. Oh, it's got the connect with it too. Holy crap, like that. This is a lot and I have to get this all to the car. So I will let you know at the end of the video. See you then. Guys, welcome back, and we just got all this stuff in the house. These things are extremely heavy. Anyway, obviously, these are all the parts of an Xbox One kiosk. I don't know if it's complete or what. I'm going to try to put this together and come back at the end of the video and show you what it looks like. But first, I got to show you something else that was in there. Look at this. This feels like a real Xbox One. As you can see, it says retail display unit only, not for commercial resale, but... That feels like a real Xbox One. That really, really does. I own one right over there, so I know what they feel like. I'm going to hook this up also and test it out. Maybe it's not real because the back does look a little different. I don't know if it's an older model or what. But anyway, we're going to try to put this kiosk together, test out the Xbox One, and we'll be back to let you know what works and everything else. I'm so freaking psyched right now. I can barely talk. Anyway, we'll be right back guys welcome back and we have this thing freaking put together check that out i never thought i'd finally find a kiosk yet alone an xbox one one i don't know what that is on the side but i'm gonna work on getting that off obviously there's no tv that came with it but i could probably get a cheap tv fit up there at a pawn shop for 40 or 50 bucks no problem which i will definitely definitely do Anyway, the electronics inside are kind of banged up. I'm not really sure what goes where. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to electronics like that. But anyway, the display in the base, as you can see down here, says Microsoft on it. And right here, they did cut the wires, the USB wires on the back of the controller. So they're just kind of back there right now. That obviously is a fake Xbox One and a fake Kinect that goes in there just for display purposes. And that would be where the TV goes. And up there is another Xbox One logo. So, obviously, I am so psyched. Look how tall that is. I mean, that's like an inch away from my ceiling. It almost doesn't even fit in here. This thing is so awesome looking. Let me go around the back real quick just to show you what this is. This is actually right here is the door that goes in it. 
you can open it up and obviously I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes with all these electronics and stuff so that whatever the TV thing would fit through there the brackets to hold the TV up and there's the circuit boards and everything else that come with it and yeah they just had to just screw the door I didn't find the key unfortunately it does have a lock but I don't have a key that goes to it but we have um, this piece was off so we just unscrewed the lock and got into it really easily but anyway that thing is so sick and definitely one of the best finds I've ever found, ever, GameStop dumpster diving. Now, let's cut to the big moment of truth. This is the Xbox One we found. It looks real, as you can see right there. Xbox One retail display unit only, not for commercial resale. I have it hooked up to where my Xbox One goes. My dusty Xbox One's over there. I haven't played in a while because I've been dumpster diving so much. But anyway, let's see if this thing actually runs. <sighs> I'm nervous. If this works... I can. I really don't know anyone else that could say they found an Xbox One working in the dumpster. Cross your fingers. And it cuts on. But let's see. Does it actually, you know, work, or is it just like programmed to do something specific? Hey. Let me cut this light off. Oh my gosh, this thing actually works. Look at that. Xbox One demo seven. What does that say? Go back. Go back, Xbox. Xbox One. XB1 Demo 7741. They even made it a gamer tag. Alright, hold on one second. I'm going to connect my controller to the Xbox so we can test it out and see what it can do. Alright, hold on. Does that work? Yep. It actually takes the controller. Anything in here? Give me a demo disc. It? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. That's actually a demo right there. It's the thing they play in the store. That lets you try all the games. Let's see what's in there. And then I want to just play with the Xbox to see if it's actually a real Xbox or if it's just, you know, something they keep in the store at a program and to just play this disc. Oh, is that what this is right here? Game demos. Let's see. Yeah, this is a thing right here. It sits in the store when you walk into GameStop. This is what's on there. I guess some of them have beats. Some of them don't. Let's see, man. This is absolutely insane. Alright, let's give it the ultimate test here. Let me take this disc out. Alright. Right here, I got my South Park fractured butthole I got from Redbox to try out. Let's see if it can read a real disc. That's the big question. Can it read a real disc? Come on. If it starts loading up, then we hit the mother. It's freaking installing. Oh, let's see. Hold on. Your Xbox needs an update before it can install this game. But it's starting. Hold on. Let me go here. Let's go to the queue. Installate. Oh, it stopped. But it's not connected to Xbox Live. That's because I don't have my Ethernet wire hooked up. It's right here. But anyway, what amazes me is it read that disc and it can start installing. So that is a freaking fully functioning, perfectly good working Xbox One found in the dumpster with a demo disc in it. This is by far the greatest night of GameStop dumpster diving I've ever had. The only other thing we have, there was two flash drives that we found in there. One that had an Xbox logo and one that had something else on it. So I'm about to plug those into the computer and then we can see what is on those. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I got both the flash drives plugged in as you can see here. We're going to see what they have on them. I'm really, really interested. Alright, this one just has, let's see, one file called Microsoft Xbox Kiosk. Let's see if it does anything if I click on it. How do I want to open it? I don't know. You know what? Let's ignore that one. Let's check this one. Ooh, whoa. This one's got a lot of videos on it. I'm guessing these are like the game trailers. I'm sure. Let's see. Let's just open it up for me. Why not? That's pretty cool. Alright, let's see what else we got on here. Best games. That is so cool. Like, I don't know what to do with this. It's like, it's just cool to have. Like, if anyone ever finds kiosks and they restore them and stuff like that, you know what? Like you can easily copy these files and give them to other people and things like that. That's pretty, pretty awesome. The controller, gold, NFL, Forza. Let's look at a fitness one. It's 
Skip in, skip in. Like the quality is just so perfect. It's like it's done by a professional company like Microsoft or something. <laughs> anyway, that is freaking awesome. I don't want to leave him on there too long and have Xbox screaming on my YouTube channel like, it's copyrighted, that's mine. Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. This is definitely the best GameStop dumpster dive I've ever done. Ever, ever, ever. Anyway, make sure you leave the video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. And until next time, peace out.